Hello, this is the second part of my HIV Viato. I didn't realize I have so many of them when I started to make uh, this video. There's a link uh, up above to the first episode uh, of my fuzzy HIV Viato. And again, disclaimer, the names are gi uh, were given to me by the sellers or swappers. Uh, what I mean by that, it's uh, you can easily increase your collection by swapping with other uh, succulent lovers. So you can swap the whole plant or uh, leaf just to propagate from the leaf or cuttings. So this is how I increased my collection by other buying or uh, swapping around. So um, I keep my achievements uh, uh, in the greenhouse. In winter, I only give them a drop of water when I notice that they were really desperate for a drink, like really wrinkled um, and really soft to touch um, leaves. Uh, whereas in summer, I use a dry and soak uh, method, meaning that I uh, give them a good drink, wait until the water uh, uh, comes out of the drainage pot or you can even uh, put them in a bowl of water so they can soak water uh, but it's called the bottom watering uh, i've already made a video about how to water uh, succulents which i will link uh, up above as well as all succulents they love uh, light and indeed in winter especially in the uk when there's not much sunshine you may notice that they stretch that they are elongated uh, but again uh, that's uh, not a problem you can cut uh, and uh, then propagate the stem don't throw away uh, the stem that you are left with because you may see that over the time a new rosettes may appear. As you can see they can produce lots of uh, pups around like in this case and long um, flower stalks and the blooms are just spectacular. Different colors like you can see here a nice uh, yellow one. If you look at the rosettes they all differ in the shape, uh, the color. This one is quite uh, compact. Uh, this one is uh, much uh, smaller so uh, they are just uh, beautiful uh, to look at uh, funny enough when i first started collecting them then i thought well they all look the same but if you look closely they are not some of them they are similar and there are so many hybrids um, uh, that's why they may seem quite similar but uh, like this one um, it's, I think it might be called Silver Queen, but I'm not sure. So if you know, just let me know uh, down in the comment box. And there are beautiful Korean hybrids as well, but they are quite expensive. Uh, you may find that uh, bottom leaves, they get dry. So there's nothing to worry about. It's a natural process. As you could see uh, a minute ago, I just pulled out. You can use tweezers. Uh, this is uh, how you can get rid of those uh, drying uh, leaves. It's a natural process. Um, so the colors of Echeverias, as you can see, they range from green uh, with a bit of red, um, it's kind of silver gray, if you like, even uh, to dark. Uh, so there's so many for you to choose from. For instance, this one has got a bit like um, copper or rusty tone to the color of the leaves uh, so if you like this video give me a thumb up subscribe to my channel and any comments will be appreciated which uh, helps to develop this um, channel and that one and the next one looks a bit like a Pachyphetum or Pachyviria, which there will be another episode about, uh, to me, they are a bit, uh, a bit chubbier uh, leaves. Or oh, this one, for instance, you can see the color is uh, a bit um, more darker, which I, I like as well about um, those uh, succulents. When it comes to the um, potting mix, uh, 
I use just my standard potting mix. It needs to be well draining, free draining. Um, and um, they prefer to have a bit uh, tighter pot, so a bit smaller rather than bigger when you repot them again. If you repot them, just wait a few days before you give them some um, some water. As far as pests are concerned, um, I think mealies are the main uh, problem. The leaves are covered with farina or wax, uh, which uh, protects them from the intense uh, light. And in this example, uh, you can see where a new pup grows on on the stem. Uh, like here. Does it look so cute? And as I said, these uh, you can propagate them from the leaves, like uh, those here. They are just uh, propagated, well, propagated like that. Coming back to farina, as I said, it protects them from the intense light as well as its water repellent. It means when, for instance, when it um, rains, water drops uh, just uh, rolls out of the leaves, so it does. Uh, it's not collected in the rosette because otherwise it could have. Uh, led to rot. Uh, as you can see they offset quite uh, easily. This one is packed. Now that one in Bricata, two years ago I left it outside in winter as well so it was all the time outside and it produces lots of um, blooms. It uh, didn't suffer much whereas this year was in greenhouse and as, as you could see, there were no, not many um, flower socks, none uh, whatsoever. So I think this uh, winter I will leave it as well outside. Oh, this one, oh, it's like a pup machine. Look how many uh, small rosettes, pups uh, it's got. I just need to trim all those dead uh, leaves as well. When uh, it stops uh, blooming, you can cut off uh, here the, those um flower stalks as close to the rosettes as you can. Do you have your favourite Echeveria or which one do you like the most from my collection so far that you've seen? Just let me know in the comment uh, box. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!